Hey guys, this is Zachis. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video tour of uh, one of the new Freelancer variants. Uh, Star Citizen's been pretty busy this week. Arena Commander finally came out, the very first version. Um, and on top of that, we have the next great Starship contest. We got the finalists inside, in engine, in the hangar. This is one of the Four Horsemen uh, gunship right here, which is pretty damn awesome. I kind of want one myself. Um, but anyway, they also, yesterday they released uh, the th Freelancer variants finally, which had been in the works for a while. We saw some early leaked stuff um, that was found in the engine months ago, but um, they finally went over the Freelancer and uh, got the variants done and everything, which is pretty cool. There's uh, three for sale, I guess one of them's actually very limited. They're only going to sell for a couple of days, I believe, which is the military variant. Um, it's got the, I guess, some crazy missiles. It's pretty much a missile boat, so it sacrifices cargo uh, space. I think almost all of it's cargo space for a, a large payload of missiles. This is the other uh, next great starship ship, by the way, which is equally impressive. I, I would want both of them, I think. Anyway, um, the mill variant of the Freelancer is basically just a missile boat, almost like, I guess it would be a blockade runner, I would think. So it's got some heavy armament. Um, the second variant is the Max, which is basically a hauling variant of the Freelancer. It's got a massively increased uh, cargo capacity. And um, I think it's got some better engines on there as well. It sacrifices armament, though, so it's not heavily armed. It's not even armed as well as a normal Freelancer. And the final variant is this puppy right here, which is the Freelancer Dur, uh, D-U-R. It's an um, exploration variant of the uh, Freelancer. So it sacrifices some of the cargo capacity of the normal Freelancer. <coughs> um, and adds extra fuel tanks, which I'm assuming are these big pods up here, up top and down below. These, these things right here. Um, external fuel tanks, I guess. As well as, um, it's got an upgraded, obviously, scanning package and sensor suites, which you can see up front. Completely different from the normal f uh, Freelancer. Get the antenna right up there, and looks like sensor pods in the front. Or boobs, as people have been calling them. But, um, so there's that. It looks pretty sexy. I'm looking forward to it. I've kind of ended up in... I want to be the scanner guy. I want to be that tracking, scanning, explorer guy for the the fleet when uh, for the org for my organization when uh, when everything goes live. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but of course it's a long ways away. <clears throat> I think this looks pretty damn cool. Definitely looking forward to flying it. Um, most of the stats are in fluctuation. Obviously, this ship stats page you know changes all the time, but. It's still got a pretty hefty cargo capacity. I'll show you the uh, cargo hold in a minute. Um, one thing that's probably not going to change is the max crew, which is two, um, which is pretty much standard for... There's a cargo ramp. Pretty much standard. The crew is Two crew is pretty much standard for every freelancer, except for the military variant, which I think has three because they have an extra turret. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is a pretty, uh, pretty decent cargo hold for me. I mean, make a decent run with this. There's also the turret up here, which for some reason I cannot access. It does not work. It might st still have to add the function or whatever, but yeah. Enough space for me, definitely. I'm going to be using it for exploring ma mainly, so not really concerned with other stuff. And you got the airlock to the cargo hold. Uh, I think this is a docking collar as well. I can't open that either. It doesn't seem to work. Um, and then pop up to the cockpit and small living quarters they actually have up here as well. Gotta have a sink, you know. Of course, that's important. Super important. Looks like a couple extra um, gunners, I don't know, radio, op uh, radio officer consoles or something. Which is pretty nifty. You've got your bunks here, four of them. Um, you can't actually use these at the moment yet either, unless I'm just not hitting the sweet spot. Some of these little things are really wonky sometimes. Um, spent a little time trying to get into the 
bunk yesterday. <laughs> Didn't really work, but it's cool. They got little, uh, they got little TVs actually up there. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty nifty. Um, and then it looks like it says a Max Cruise too, but it looks like you could, you know, you could probably stow a few extra people in here. You got a couple extra chairs here. It looks like little consoles, and then you got, I guess, pilot and a gunner, a pilot, co-pilot, which is pretty nifty. Some sleek looking controls. I like the cockpit a lot, actually. I love the the view and everything. It's just pretty damn awesome. <clears throat> Very sleek looking. It's a lot less paint than uh, I think the original workup of the variants were. It's very chromey, which is pretty damn cool. Yeah, but that's pretty much the Freelancer uh, third variant. Definitely looking forward to uh, exploring the fringes of space with this thing. It's pretty damn cool. Couldn't resist getting one. I had originally thought about getting the Max, but uh, I don't feel like doing straight up cargo runs back and forth. And again, I could probably use this thing because, you know. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. There's actually a normal staircase to actually get in here as well. Which I'm sure everyone's seen now with the normal Freelancer. So, nothing different there, but. Whatever. There you go. Comes out of the landing uh, strut there. It's pretty damn cool. So it's still got a decent armament. It looks like um, you'll be able to carry some firepower with you. Got the two turrets on the side, as well as uh, a missile payload. Again, I love the detail in this game already. I can't even fly this thing. Um, so cool. And then you have the turret up top. I can't really get on top of the ship, so Let's see if I can back out over there. Yeah, it's not really gonna help. But yeah, you have the rear-facing turret as well. I wish you could get up in there, but for some reason I just can't. I can't find a sweet spot for it. I don't know if there is one or not. Whatever. That should work in the future, obviously. But love the animations. They're so smooth. Awesome. Yep, so that's the Freelancer uh, Dura variant for uh, exploration, you know, long range space flight to the, to the edge of the verse, so to speak. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the universe.